Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Avalas here at the Coventry Skydome with the victorious Isaac Chamberlain. After just over a year out of the ring, Isaac, that must just feel so good. Yeah, it feels amazing. But, uh, you know, it didn't last very well, so I just had to take my time and enjoy it. Um, yeah, it was really good. And as members of Team Chamberlain, obviously you're working with someone, you know how talented he is. We know how much he can achieve in this game. Just sort of getting the ball rolling after that time must just feel like a real positive as a whole. Yeah, like you said, it's been a year out, um, but he's been training really hard and he's better than ever. Honestly, he's, he's, as a cruiserweight, we, we train to be explosive, he's naturally fast and I just look forward to the time in the near future where he can actually really start to show um, you know, who he is, what he's about. When he says he's better than ever, obviously, we've heard people say that a lot and sometimes fans might go, but is he really? I mean, you could tell us more, is he really looking better than ever? Yeah, you'll see on November the 13th, I think that's when he's back out. Um, we're not, we're not going to hype things up, he's more than ready. It's a little bit disappointing he didn't get to show that tonight. But he got the job done, and that's what it really mattered. But the viewers will really get their money's worth, we hope, next time, you know. So they tune in, they'll see something special. Well, we have just had one of his team come out and said that he wasn't just buzzed, he was seriously hurt. So I suppose one thing you can take is, you know you can still bang. Yeah, 100%. You know, we've been working on it a long, long time. You know, these two trainers here are the best kept secrets in British boxing. I definitely believe that, you know. So I'm just excited. I'm just excited for the future. We were talking a lot about the future. I'll come on into that in a sec because obviously whoever you fight domestically, there'll be a buzz around. But I've seen your Instagram and over the last year, obviously being out of the ring must have been tough. Have you sort of found that there's other important things in your life as well and found something else alongside boxing? I see you've been doing a lot of talking about charities and work in Africa and stuff. Have you found other things alongside boxing that have been important to you in this time? Yeah, definitely. I think it's very, very important to really, um, if you have a status, to really share, you know, what you, um, how can I say it? To share... Bro, my mind went blank. <laughs> Brother, bro. To share the knowledge, the knowledge that he doesn't have at the moment. Yeah, just to share. Boxing in the ring, bro, madness. I'm just thinking about how short it was and I'm pissed off. <laughs> that I'm just, oh my God. You know what? You know, yeah, I've been doing other stuff. I've been doing other stuff. It's been good. Next question. <laughs> so this is your true love. This is what you want to do. And this is where you want to make your name now, yeah? Yeah, of course, of course. You know, um, I just can't wait to get back in the gym. You know, it's been a grueling camp. You know, everyone says that, but I've really tried to be as disciplined as possible. You know, I've really tried to really immerse myself in my training, my diet, my discipline and everything. So, um, you know, the fruits of my labor will pay off. We talk about that November day. Are we looking at a real serious matchup in, in a minute big fight in November? Yeah, you know, there's basically there's talk of him boxing internationally now. You know, the plan for him is to start to get um, a world ranking and really push on towards the on towards world level you know so we want to you know we need someone that's going to give him rounds um he's ready now as i said he trains to be explosive he's quick and we just want to sh him to show people you know really what he can do and what he's about and his true talent because for a cruiserweight i really believe what he can do for a cruiserweight is is where his strengths are you know Okay. Um, no, yeah. There's obviously been a time where, with you being out of the ring, sort of your name sort of slips out of off of people's lips. You don't really hear people talk about you so much anymore. Has that been hard for you as well? Because there was a point where I don't know Isaac Chamberlain was the big thing, the big thing. And when you're out for so long, like I said, you sort of seem to slip down the fans' pecking order. If it makes sense. Who told you that? <laughs> it's not true. When you're out, when you're out the ring, though, isn't it? When you're out the ring, that's how it works. That's, that's brutal, but it's boxing, isn't it? It's for other people. I don't think it's for me. You know, I've been looking onto it, and I'm. One thing I can definitely say is I'm so, so grateful for the people that supported me because they've always been singing my, my praises and I'm so grateful for that, you know. And um, I'm just excited to be back. And those are the, the, the fans and the supporters are the people that's been motivating me to keep going, you know, to keep going. Because it's, it's crazy that like, I feel like I'm still a buzz, you know, the way people are still talking. So I'm very, very blessed that, you know, they're appreciating me. Do you feel like you've got a man who in two or three years could be headlining shows as a world champion in this country? I think within about 12 months, you're going to see something special. You know, we, we've got a plan. Me and Bobby have formulated something specially for him. Um, his name holds a lot of weight. He's very dangerous. And there's a path we've worked out. Um, it's just a matter of time. You know, we need, just need a bit of consistency. His right arm is better than ever. There's no problems with him. He's a very dangerous man. He's still a young man. It's just a matter of time. Two or three years, I mean, that's far too far. The next 12 months, you need to keep your eyes on him.
Yeah. It's making me so I'm getting excited now you're talking like that. One more thing, you've been on IFL enough, you know what it's about. We like to cause trouble. So have you got anyone you want to call out? Uh <laughs> I wanna call out Penny Otis Martin <laughs> and Danny Fitzpatrick! This guy is so I just wanna let you know you're heavily fined for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically what we did to make him turn up on time, we find the life out of him. He's he's sulked about it enough, but we put money in a tin. And every time he's late, he gets it. So now that's about fifty quid. That's no, about fifty come quid. On. So you're telling me that he's walked away with no fight purse tonight, then? Well, uh, it's been effective. You know how much that been paid? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can tell us. You can tell us. No, no, we can't say that. We can't disclose that information. Bro. <laughs> Stop putting it so close to me, bro. <laughs> no, he's right. <laughs> no, he's right. Well, all in all, a win, a good night, and um, yeah, looking forward to seeing where the journey goes from here. Uh, bring on November. Thank you very much. Hot, hot bang. <laughs> Pop, pop, bang. <laughs> Shout out to John Fury. Yeah, Shout out to John Michael Sal. I love John Fury, man. He's the best. Big up Michael Sal. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it. That, that, that.